So it's been a fairly brutal month here in Fairbanks, Alaska. January was cold, uh, straight up cold. Somewhere around, you know, 20 below, I consider it pretty darn chilly. Somewhere around 40 below, that's just straight up cold. It's a dangerous temperature where skin freezes quickly. It's uncomfortable. Um, uh, so it's been hard to get out. The last couple of weeks I've tried to make videos. I probably have a handful of videos that I started. And I have a handful of videos that are about, you know, a third of a trip or a half of a trip or, you know, some, some fraction of a trip, but not the whole trip. So you have me heading down the hill. I'm like, here we are going down the hill. And the next video I have is, and now we're going up the hill and I'm starting to sweat, even though it's 20 below and there's nothing in the middle. It's, it's, you know, one of these things where, you know, I'm down in the valley and I'm mushing along and my cameras freeze or my fingers freeze or my nose is so cold. I'm not paying attention and I should be taking some footage or my, you know, I'm trying to take a, you know, picture with this camera, but my, my fingers get too cold. So I put it away and I don't think about it for a little while. So my goal today is this, it is 10 above today. It is February, I don't know, third or something like that. Early in February, the, the cold snap has broken. We have a little dusting of snow coming down. I'm excited to take the dogs out. We went out yesterday um, after a three day break and uh, had a nice run. We're gonna go out again today, uh, just from the yard. And my goal is to go out, go down to the valley, find a big lake with a maybe some wide trail if I can find some and try sending up the drone. The, um, the drone does not work so well at uh, below freezing temperatures. So I wanna make sure if I lose this thing, I can find it again. So that's the plan for today. Let's get to it. Hello dogs. Hello doggy dogs. this gentle trot not sprinting not too tired it's just a nice gentle long distance trot the Yukon quest is happening right now which is my favorite dog sled race it's a thousand miles from Fairbanks straight ahead straight ahead from Fairbanks to Whitehorse Canada on uh, on even years and from Whitehorse Canada to Fairbanks in odd years so this being 2020 it's an even year and the race started in Fairbanks whoa doggies good dogs good dogs so uh, they're out there right now they've been out there for uh, a couple days now two two or three days and their dogs most of those teams these professional teams are going hundred miles a day my dogs are going like 10 miles, 20 miles. We had a good day the other day. We went about 25 miles, but then we took like three days off. 
Of course, they also have like 14 dogs and I have five. But wouldn't that be nice? That's a long-term dream with this little team. Do the Yukon Quest Trail. We'll see what happens. So far so good, a lovely day. We passed a, uh, or rather a snow machine team sort of passed us. The leader is at a nice spot. There's a little Y, a little, a little island in the way between us and them. And the leader saw us, went around one side of the island very politely, telling me that there's four, four tourists behind him. I acknowledged that and he went on his way and the four tourists behind him on their snow machines with their helmets on and all the noise they never they never once looked and saw me not one of them turned their head you know we're 20 feet of dog sled five beautiful huskies they all they saw was the exhaust the tailpipe with a snow machine in front of them. Oh well. I guess all I really see is a tailpipe of five dogs, so they don't they don't smell much better. Okay. So what we're working on right now 
We got about a, I don't know, I don't know, it's not a huge hill, about a 300 foot hill. The last hill before we get to uh, get to the road and head down to the house. 100% of the time before today, I have kicked or run up the hill behind my dogs. But I got five big dogs. It's 10 above, that means the snow is slicker than it's been. I got my puppies are over a year old. They're tough, they're strong, they're pulling like crazy. So today, today they're gonna pull me up this hill. And the goal is to not ever have them quit. So the goal is to do it in little stages, have them push real hard and then I'll stop and let them take a break. And then push real hard, stop and take a break. And hopefully that way, they'll start to get the sense of hills if we're pulling hard. You ready, dogs? Okay, let's go. Such strong dogs. How are you working? How are you working hard? How are you? Okay, let's go. Good dog. There we go. Good dog. Such good doggy. Fairbanks, we can go dog sledding out your front door. Such good dog.